tweeting and such. Hopefully we should be all set now. Well, last time we messed around with the DLC a little bit. Uh, found a new weapon. I've actually leveled it up. It seems like yeah. it's been pretty fun so far. I'm, I'm quite Summer enjoying time. it. Woo. Everyone loves a good hammer. Everybody loves a good hammer. It's true. Hard to disagree with that sentiment. It is, in fact, Blurred Bin. Blur, burn. Who doesn't love blur, blur? Blur, burn. Blur, burn. Figure today to start off, we will uh, head forward a little bit. Hey, Granny Bingus, how are you doing? Um, see what we can see, and then uh, potentially go try out. Uh, the Elder God we found at the bottom of the church. Yeah, did you get some more, uh... Yes, we are stuff? doing quite well okay, on yeah. both sedatives yeah. and, uh, and bolt paper. Bolt paper. Yeah. One thing about bolt paper is that you can actually buy it with one insight. Um, and we had quite a bit lying around, which uh, we kind of wanted to dump a bit going yeah. into this next section. You'll see why. <laughs> well, we did get slurped. Mm -hmm. so. we, got, we got a lot of slurps, but I was able to use a bunch of things. And thank you for the resubs, ain't I, Erna? Um, it was also mentioned to me that because I've been doing a bunch of Chalice Dungeon stuff, uh, there is a new armor set. Oh, the Bone Ash. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks good. It looks awesome. Mask made of Bone Ash, worn by the oldest Keepers. The Keepers, who mind the slumbering Great Ones, gained eternal life, preserved in ashen form in a ceremony of flame that cremated body and soul. The long, pointed hat is a symbol of the old Keepers and is considered evidence of their companionship, forged in a certain sin. We also have, uh, now their frail armor is white and sinewy, a window into a, an arcane lost art. We've looked over the Insight Shop a decent deal. Um, there's not too, too much stuff here. We could buy Bloodstone Chunks for 20. But yeah, the Bolt Paper being pretty cheap is quite nice, uh, Insight-wise. We can pick up quite a few of those for that. Yeah, so that's actually got quite a bit of uh, physical defense. I think it's Pretty yeah, good. like the same as the stuff we've got, uh, or like kind of our highest levels of physical defense. Yeah, good shit. Good right thrust, there. good good versus fire. Very Put low arcane Put defense. We'll see Don't if that care. bites us. Don't care. Put it on. Yes. Oh, yeah. We got to put the whole set on. That, that's great. Oh my. <laughs> That's a scary Bingus right there. I'd love to get the uh, the hat without the skelly face, just because Granny Bingus's face is awesome. Mm -hmm. But Granny Bingus is looking even older now. And pants, yes, yes. That's some old hunter shit. Granny Bingus, skeleton warrior, yeah. All right. So, uh, last time after we went through the lecture building, second floor, we ended up in the Nightmare of Mensis. The boss at the end of this area is, um, known, let us say.
So anyway, last time we were around here, we did see this uh, large castle kind of out in the nightmare. Probably go see what that's about. We've got a bell ringing woman ringing a sinister bell. We've got a frenzy building up. Good boy. Which doesn't exactly seem great. Uh, Lash, eat gross, awful lads. I'm seeing a big screen there. Uh -huh. Oh, two gross, awful lads. Great. So good. Oh, wow, that somehow didn't hit us. Don't worry about it. It's fine. A, a touch, yes. <laughs> you could say that. Alright, good start. The game is scramming us. We're getting a lot of scrams, <laughs> yes. Yeah, werewolf with all range mode. Um, so yeah, the thing about the boom hammer is it's kind of similar to the tinnitus. Uh, rather than having a full trick form, when you use its trick, it basically sets your weapon on fire, and then your next attack has fire on it. Um, I really like it. Notice that they are also getting shit blasted into them when they're sort of out and about here. I believe that is upping frenzy. No, that takes care of that. Easy enough. Fuck those guys. These faces are lovely. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of standard nightmare stuff. So um, the reason that we have a frenzy bar building up and the reason I dumped all that insight was to increase our frenzy bar is there's like sort of a glowing red thing in the castle, like in the distance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's coming from like that arch over there. And being in the light and the sight of that uh, increases, yeah, that. Okay. If you get really high insight, you just like frenzy constantly. Yes, your your insight resistance is much lower. The bar is much smaller. <laughs> he, he got hurt by something there. Yes, I believe that's all. He is also getting affected by that. Ugh, frenzy. The boomerhammer does have uh, attack down versus. Yes. Oh. You're getting stabbed, apparently. Yeah, you know. Stabbing. I believe that's the effects of the, uh... The light? Yeah. Okay, like it's stabbing us. Okay. I see whatever that was got stabbed a bunch. Mm-hmm. Alright, well we get to sit and wait in quite a pickle. Yeah, mostly I just don't want to be near those worms. Yeah, that's insight. Yeah, your frenzy's gonna, like, really slowly. Yep. Oh, yeah, frenzy is, like... Uh, the, frenzy is basically the anti-insight thing, particularly when you get to, like, Winter Lanterns and especially this place. Hello! I see you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, stop stabbing us. Slam. That was a little ballsy. Bob, he got it though. He got him. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, there's another one. Oh, the worms. Yeah. Right, right. They they die and they leave worms. I thought that the fire would actually stop that, like killing them with fire. Yeah, maybe the boom doesn't count. On the plus side, the boom hammer actually seems capable of like hitting them. Come on, Slim. 
Yeah, like, the boom hammer so far has been by far our best weapon for dealing with these dudes. Yeah. Just all these rock formations are beautiful. Alright, it does look like this whole rock formation is slowing the uh, ones there. Ah, throwy lad. Hey, at least we can be a little bit more open in our movement around here. May still be a little dangerous, though. Very sneaky. Ah, lads, it's the lad party. Yep. Uh, it's these lads. Yeah, the rock throwing lads. We want to fling some rock. Okay. I gotta fling the rock. They do be like that. Hey, give me a rock. Come on, come down here. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> yes, uh, off, off stream, uh, I think I've just been doing some chalice stuff. Sort of like grinding for uh, gems and souls and stuff. I have mentioned that I've recorded uh, the Chalice Dungeons that I've done. Yeah. Are you going to upload them to YouTube, or...? Uh, we'll figure out what we want to do with that. I'm not totally sure yet. I have a Twitch Chalice watching party. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> he finally beamed me. Yeah! Didn't hurt quite as much as the last rocks did, though. No, I think we've got some decent defense going on now. It's, a, it's this armor. It attacks against rocks. It's its most powerful feature. I'm sort of like, as soon as I run by this guy, he's gonna go for me, but... We did hear that there was a belt. Yeah? He's ringing that bell. That bell lady who's like, throwing the uh, spears of blood at us. Clearly. Frankly. Yeah, bringing out the wheel. Alright, wasn't, wasn't really expecting to get that, but... Visceral with a wheel. Ain't nothing more visceral than a wheel. It's true. Uh, it is just a wolf plush that we are calling Sif. <laughs> it, it is not a designated Sif plush. It's just, it's just the wolf I have. That Solaire crochet is Solaire. I think I fought the wolf free. I think so? Yeah. Sounds about right. We bought a few of these uh, yeah. from this company. Yeah, they're very cute. They are indeed. <laughs> I don't know what that Spectre was doing, but he got smashed. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I need a torch. Hmm. Is this good? Sure. This is fine. No, I don't like s- no, I don't like spiders. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh dear. The spiders are here. It is all thanks to ignoring. Remember, Therefore, remember hidden, hidden path. path. Well, are you gonna get eaten by spiders? I guess we'll see. Woman waits ahead. Spider doesn't seem that interested in us. No. Are you gonna make it a problem? 
More like deal with it before it becomes a problem. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, you're not wrong. It's true, the average Yarnamite is eaten by eight spiders a year. Oh, that, oh, oh, they're, oh, this is a lot. They're, they're not as creepy as, like, the Sekiro bugs, though. They, they kind of look like Halloween decoration spiders. Yeah, I could, I could definitely and get I'm that honest, vibe they, from they, them. They've got a big level of fakeness to them, so mm. they, they don't actually scare me. I think that's the thing about most video game spiders, is they, they, you know, they're not real. So, like, they don't bother me. But it's really the movement a lot of the time that does it. Yeah. The, the, they, they just look like Halloween spiders. The Halloween spider decorations have never bothered me. Mm-hmm. And there is something about the movement. Ah, bots. Ah, okay. A lot of bots. Oh, okay, that's fine. Three bots. That's Triple bot awful city. A lot of bots that came in when I wasn't looking. Uh-huh. I don't know where this fucking bell lady is, but it needs to stop. Ah, I'm stuck against something. I was too busy watching the supporters. Yeah, their movements look fine. It's not particularly. There, there was just something about the movement of the Sekiro bugs that really was, was really disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> That was the plan. I did do that on purpose. There's not much subtlety to their movement, so I can like, kind of just wild out on them. This thing also seems to have a decent amount of armor. Yep. Hopefully we'll get some more blood vials, because we are low. Yeah, I kind of burning through them right now. Yeah. Yep, totally was. Yeah, I thought it was. In okay. the field of spiders. Yes, in the field of spiders. There's a lot of, lot of bullets, not a lot of uh, vials. Mm hmm. We'll run out and it'll be fun. Alright, I think I've gotten most of them Hi! on the big boy. Hey, you big boy. I don't know what you just did. Not interested in finding out. Can you get through the doorway? I'm too big. That was a spider melee attack. It's definitely doing something there, but I don't know what. <laughs> Yeah, these things actually have way more than eight legs, yes. Yep, Patches did as well. So, I, technically not arachnoids, but, you know. There's still a lady ringing a bell somewhere. Yeah, but these spiders aren't blood spiders, so they won't come back, right? No. Ah. Neat. Bone blades. Hmm. Oh, good. Beware of Hunter. We've had a giant spider. See, I'm just, I'm scared of real spiders. Like, the tiniest little spiders mm -hmm, freak me out. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely terrified of them. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in this room or if it just ends at the uh, path across there. It doesn't look like there's too much else, but you would think there'd be something on that side. I don't see any items elsewhere, though. It really was that summer when we were in... Ithaca, and you were like, you were in the summer school, and like, there were spiders that lived on the ceiling in your room. That was an awful week. Those spiders kept me sleeping. Oh, this guy's a jerk. This is a hunter. Ah, <laughs> uh, worms! He's got hunter tools. He's got worms! We own that hunter tool, actually. So you got a tool that just, like, sprays some of the worms? Yup. That's gross. Basically shoots tentacles out of your hand. I believe it's the auger of Ebertas, which we found in the, uh... 
Yeah, it has a can with a spring on the snakes. Boing. He has a loot of explanation. He does, yes. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Ah, damn. Uh, I was looking for a place to heal, and then it gave me the spritz. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I went like that at you. <laughs> ah, I got her. I got Granny Vingus. Mm-hmm. The power. Fucking murder. Yeah. Cannot believe he got a, he gave me the old trapped can of peanut brittle. Shameful. I don't give a shit about the bell ringing woman. There's gonna be like 50 things chasing me, but it's fine. All right, yes, it looks like no one actually made it through the doorway. So I believe what I can do to avoid problems is kind of just roll off here and run. <laughs> and then it's time for round two, where hopefully no spiders will uh, get themselves involved. That was weird. I thought I was going to get the attack there. Okay, good. The spiders are not that interested. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm not. Two hungers, no. No, no, no. One we can take, but I, I ain't bothered about two. Nah. Anyway, we are liking the boom hammer. It booms. It hammers. Jesus. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> As that spider watches. Yep. That spider's watching us, and they're like, yeah, all right. Yeah, this thing does not have very much arcane resistance, which is, uh... A bit of an issue for it. Yes, we might have to change our armor up a wee bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Incredibly weak to aerosolized holy water, for sure. Yeah, I basically tend to start running through this because these guys aren't really fast enough to uh, do much to me. Oh, that bowering woman and her sinister bow. I do, in fact, hate to see it. Gross. We are very weak to holy water. It's fine. Uh, I believe we could have chosen a shotgun at the start of the game. Yes, we also could have purchased uh, one at any point from the main store. And we got the, uh, the pistol. But we took a pistol. The problem with like the shotgun for us is that we have a limited supply of bullets. And hunters you fight do not have a limited supply of bullets. Mm -hmm. They just have infinite bullets. So, they can fire shotguns at you all day. You, on the other hand, uh, have 20 bullets. Shotguns still use one? Yes. You alright, dickhead? <laughs> ah, that spider ah. did come through! Well, that makes for issues. That's a problem. We got ambushed by Spoder. Looks like he's not coming any further, though. Ah, I just uh, could not get my dodges in there. Nope. 
That spider was an issue. That that spider snuck up on you a wee bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> spider was like, you ignored me! Mm-hmm. And now you will pay. How dare you! Shall not stand! Mm-hmm. There's definitely someone very angry behind me. Very angry. Very zangief. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also have no idea if I'm gonna get attacked by something like in front of us if I go too far forward, so I am trying to be a little cautious about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it did look like there was something. Like but there is something uh, else there that tends to fuck it. off, but yeah. it can be so hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was unfortunate. I don't know if this was the one. I'd kind of imagine not. Okay, mm -hmm. we shall see. Screams the baby, huh? I don't like the fact that there's a baby screaming. Probably not important. But we're definitely gonna get another umbilical cord. Hmm. We're gonna kill a baby. Sir, do not spritz me. I would not like a free sample, thank you. saw something walk in here. It is true. Oh, good. Uh, something stabbed some baby. Oh, those things hatched in spoders. Hmm. Yeah, those are eggs. Yeah, they're also eyeballs. And eyeballs. And something stabbed them, though. So, uh, that's not scary. Mm-hmm. Is this, like, the same blood spears that have been stabbing us? Quite possibly. It's a yellow backbone. We've been getting quite a few uh, chalice item type things in the chalice dungeons themselves. Mm -hmm. We'll potentially go through those at some point. Gotta say, do not like the whole vibe of this place. No, it sucks. It's awful. There it is. Okay. So those are like infected people. Hmm.
Interesting. Hello, how you doing? Well, we missed. You need to get your ears checked. You didn't, you didn't notice, so it's fine. Apparently we're missing. We always have a moment. It's Sometimes fine. things have a time, I suppose. We have not helped Eileen out yet. No, I will definitely go uh, try that out and we'll get to see how good it is. Get to try and help Eileen today. Mm-hmm. It'll go good. Trust me. Wondrous hidden path, eh? That was just walked straight off. Oh, down we go. Something in the distance is taking. Whoa! <laughs> ah, bye. Rip. Rip whatever that was. Importantly for us, we actually find a uh, watch for, or a hunter's dream, a lantern here. Um, That's good. So I believe those are the guys suffering from frenzy. Yeah. Just out in the distance. Bye, lads. It's definitely understandable. Like, there are trick weapons that don't really have the trick aspect of it in this game, and the hammer is one of them, along with the tinnitus, but it's been pretty fun to do. Like, I do really like that if you use your, like, set your weapon on fire in a combo, uh, it actually does an attack while setting the weapon on fire, so you can do a lot of cool stuff with that, I've found, which I've always appreciated. I don't know why we seem to have had the text box come up. Oh. Usually that only happens when she's asleep. Okay. <sighs> Welcome maybe she was asleep home. standing up. Yeah, maybe she I was just sleeping with her eyes up. open. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right, I'll probably grab a level and then spend the rest on like blood vials or so and such. Get strong. Mm hmm. Farewell, good hunter. May you. Yeah, we're at 41 blood vials because I have been chugging through them. Luckily, there, you get so many blood echoes from this area that it's not really an issue. Um, I'll be able to come back and spend these pretty liberally. Maybe when she's asleep, he'll be here. Nope, he just doesn't exist. It's fine. Um, I do have to go to the bathroom, so <gasps> I will return shortly. Yeah, it's my time to waste bullets. <laughs> Wander around the garden. Wheelchair dude will never be here. Whee! Got the back garden. Don't even know if he did. He might have. I wasn't looking. I honestly think he's just like. Vanished from the game. Hey lads! Ceased to exist. Hey lads! You. Yep. Yeah! Pot lads! Oh, that's really good pot lads oh, right there. Oh, the pot lads! Powerful pot lads. Such powerful pot lads! Very good. Alright, I'll have control back. The power! Now we're at Mergo's Loft base. That's not uh, foreboding. Whoever that is. Mm hmm.
So yeah, the nice thing about this area that we've just unlocked is that, uh, or this bell we've just unlocked is that we don't have to go through the frenzy field 50 times. Yeah. Also, a device here. Ah, shortcut I back here. I think what that is is actually, like, they couldn't fit this in. No, that's right there. Not totally certain. Oh, I know what this is. We'll, we'll get to that. Okay. Time for torches. Alright, that bell woman with her fucking bell. Hi! How you doing? Bye bye. That's good. I would not like to be on this terrain. Took me a while for it to realize we were in sight, I guess. Mm-hmm. Come on, Slam. y'all. As one does. Burger's Loft does sound like an upmarket suburban retail store. Mistakes have been made. Right. What if I just keep honking? A little bit further left. Now I think we should go. Oh, I think we're gonna ah, get frenzied. That's what I want. There we go. We got frenzied. It will happen from time to time. This is, I believe, the discovery boosting uh, rune. Finally, it's this late in the game. Mm, and so more, that just means that we get more shit. Okay. Yep. Okay. So it's a very good one to have. It is a good rune. Yep. I will probably put that on over the increased blood echoes that I have currently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cause hey, it's nice to have a supply of twin bloodstone shards. Yeah. Oh, safe oh, place. Safe place. So I believe we actually could have gone this way from the first blood from the first uh, bonfire. We just wouldn't have gotten. Uh, it would have stopped us there, the elevator. Yeah, this is pretty much back by the other uh, dream. Easiest thing for me to do... Probably be to run for this lantern. I'm leaving, Jesus. But yeah, if we still had all the insight, we would be frenzying just yeah, constantly. We like would be dead we as could hell. not fight these things without no. frenzying at yeah. all. Mm -hmm. Now she's properly asleep. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be putting a decent amount of our money into blood vials, uh, or a bit. So I'm definitely going to be taking some punches. The stamina one's interesting, but I do kind of like having stamina, so I'm good with this. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it's not like the extra blood echoes we're getting for that are, like, incredible incredible. If we get more blood uh, mm -hmm. vials, that kind of offsets a lot of the echo stuff anyway. Yeah, so. absolutely. A yeah. lot of it depends on what we end up fighting. Yeah, more drops is good shit. We are, in fact, in frenzy school. More drops saves money. It sure does. Plus, I really just want a supply of the uh, twin Titanite because we're probably going to end up trying out a bunch of the DLC weapons as I go through that. Miss Frenzy's Magic Ghoul Bus is very strong. Thank you for that. Anyway, we can kind of now skip uh, this brain segment. The camera seems to have had some trouble catching up to us there. A little, little bit of difficulty. Uh, it's fun. Alright, we do no longer need to fight Big Spoon and Hunter Lad. 
Damn, you told me to step off. Yeah, with his torso hands. Mm-hmm. I know there's usually another one of you around there somewhere. There he is. Hello. I think we saw that guy already. Got another one. Another another one. Ooh, got three over here. Hello. Oh my. Well, that other guy, not much interested. It must be very difficult to see him here out of that helmet. Gone. That is true. Very reflective. Right? Mm hmm. Picks the foot. Oh, hi. <laughs> You fucking tell me to but step he off, was pal. Like, yeah, he was like just trying to back off while I was walking away. He was telling me where he used to be to back off. Yeah, these guys don't seem like they've got that much of a threat on them, at least currently. Yes, yeah, so we haven't met the bell ringing lady yet, but there are no like. Regenerating blood enemies yet, so. Mm hmm. The bell ring lady is just there to ring her bell. I believe that also means that, like, other people would be able to invade us. Uh, okay. Um. But. Not too many around. Oh, so, like, players can invade you as well? Yes, I believe so. Nobody wants to invade for anything to center wheel of death. We're just having a happy, fun time here. Absolutely no blood being Bjorn right now. Yeah, I imagine at this point in time there, there's not much PvP happening in Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. I imagine this was much more annoying, like, years ago. <laughs> Four years ago? Something like that. Five. Ooh, ooh. Got feisty there. Yeah. Thought you could have a go. You can see we're not exactly getting the Mondo blood echoes from these dudes. Yeah. Uh, they're not very scary. No. Dark Souls 2 Them, is... Them, though. Dark Souls 2 is annoying the alive with invaders today. That's who the little trolls play this. Play Dark Souls 2 now. Get whipped. Ooh, do they have fast poison? They do. Oh, that's fun. Uh huh. They also have dirty, damp blood gems. I'm dirty, damp. Yeah, God, as if Iron Keep isn't bad enough on its own. Adding people into it, gross. Did you have to deal with people? No, there aren't been there aren't too many people playing vanilla. I don't uh, think. Okay. All right. Um. So also in this area, there's just uh, uh, pit. just a pit. pit. Everybody loves the nightmare. And the eyeball cage. Eyeball spider cage. The thing about like playing offline is that I do really enjoy seeing the notes, notes and stuff that people do. Buddy, are you trying to push me into the pit? He sure was. Would you like to see what's in the pit? <laughs> he sure wouldn't, but you made him anyway. Remember evil eye. Well, Ooh, oh, that one's got a crossbow. crossbow. You got a wheel though. Yeah. Your classic weapon triangle. So, wheel beats crossbow. So, Ow. Ow. <laughs> uh, in two, do you just like get invaded regardless of like, can you like opt out of it? Um, I don't know if there's like a system for the hum for humanity. I mean, basically, like the way you opt out of it is just not be in the levels for the area. There's a crossbow. I know. That oh, I know. I have many issues to contend with. Oh, there he is. Two crossbow dudes, okay. 
Alright, I think I have it under control somehow. But it's time to smash. Time to slam. Okay, two, you have a cooldown with training evasion. Ah. Yeah, right, that's what it is. Kind of stops you from getting at least chain vaded. And like when you beat bosses, they'll also put on a no invasions until like sign, basically. Um, you can even see it on like your UI. Yeah, I'm also not a very big like PvP person. PV person? PV yeah. pivot person. I'm a PV person. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got another uh, lift to take. Oh man, time for special, special medicine. Special medicine? I hate special medicine. Is the special medicine books? <laughs> it sure is. Gross. Love books. They taste terrible. These elevators have also been um broken out of. Yeah, yeah, we bit. Alright, nothing scary gonna jump out at us here. I'm sure everything scary is gonna jump at us here. Despicable abhorrent beast. Oh no! Reeks of insight. Despicable abhorrent beast. Oh. You don't have enough insight, or? Oh, it's not that. Oh, oh, oh no, dog bird. They, oh. they oh, took no. a, a bird body and put a dog head on oh, it. Oh no. Oh no, that is abhorrent. Two oh, great no. tastes together at last. No, no. Bird dog, no. Dog birds. <laughs> What an unholy abomination, half they rot! Well, it explodes real good, so at least there's that. Bird up. Oh, oh, that's a dog body with a bird head. Oh, oh no. The scholars of Mensis are not the most oh, creative of folks. Those motherfuckers. Gross. Are we gonna kill them all, or are they already dead? Um, I feel like a lot of them are already dead. I feel but... like, I mean, there's their castle is full of spoders, so I feel like they're dead, which is good. So hey, it's your favorite thing about dog enemies and bird enemies <laughs> all at once. Well, the worst thing about the dogs was they're fast. These guys aren't particularly fast. Yes, they do at least have that bird downside. Wretched. I mean, it's true, we are in the nightmare, but... Man, I am, I am just well on this, like... I'm actually with Lord Buckethead now, you know what? <laughs> You've kill... slowly been coming around. I kill everyone, they all suck. Granny Vingus may not be the hero, but goddamn, she's at least the villain we need here. Garden a chunk. That we met Lord Buckethead in the forest of snakes. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you enjoy my covenant, we kill everything. <laughs> and we like to time, kill everyone. At the time I was like, well, you know, there might Bro, not. that's a little harsh. It's a little harsh. Do we need to kill everything? And slowly over the course of the next few streams I've learned, yes, everyone deserves to die. The only one who didn't deserve to die was Rom, and we must take the L on that. Rom was just minding her own fucking business. <laughs> Hiding, like, some shittiness from the world. She she didn't deserve to get murdered. But everything else, and everyone else, fuck those guys. Mm -hmm. The church, fuck them. Scholars, fuck them. Absolutely. The ancient ones, 
absolutely murder those guys. <laughs> hey, that, uh, that amygdala in the basement of the church, whose blood they're all stealing? Yeah, fuck her. Let's kill her. Ah, so this is the switch. It sure is. We now actually have a path all the way up to here. Yeah, we do. And that'll be what this does eventually. Well, yep. whenever we need to take it. Yep. Can you ring that bell, honey? I guess we were out of the range of the bell. We ringing, attempted lady. to kill the boss in the basement of the church last time. Um, we did some, you did some good job. I got pretty close a few times, but but kind of ran out of bolt paper and sedatives, so uh, decided on uh, chilling. Yeah, you know, decided to go somewhere else while he like got more souls and bought some more of that. We'll probably take a crack at her again. Yep, that's my plan. Oh, so you're correct. There has never been a church, and uh, I, I would go so far as to say game that has ever been good. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, I don't, mm, 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 I don't like this. These are puppet people and I don't like it. Puppet? Who is the puppet master? I wish to say hello and goodbye. Because they definitely deserve to die. Mm-hmm. Is it time? Scene! Oh. Some say Cosmo. Do you hear your prayers? No. No. We should not abandon the dream. No one can catch Is us. Is that Willem? No one no. can stop us now. Who's this dude? Oh, Host of the nightmare. Okay, the guy who... He is, in fact, okay. the guy we walked up to. Right. So, um, this boss fight is fairly notorious. For being awful? <laughs> Mikalash is not that interested in, uh... Uh, fighting us. Yeah, he just wants to run away. I see, it's time for the chase. Okay, we got one smack on him. Uh, ah. Snicked. Yep, he's also got worm hands. Honestly, this is going better than this fight basically ever goes for me. I'm surprised he has not run away again or started lecturing us. No, oh, does he normally start lecturing you? Oh, yes. So, uh, Kaz or some say Cosm is a meme line from this game. Oh. Hmm. He, yeah. wasn't, he wasn't dead yet, oh, though. Yeah, majestic. there you go. A hunter is a hunter even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare swirls and churns unending. I don't quite remember all the particulars of this fight. But basically, uh, we are going to have to start really chasing this man. There it is. 
gonna say that an awful lot. Oh yes. <laughs> an awful, awful lot. Cos... Cosm... Cosmic, huh? Cos, or some say Cosm. You hear our prayers? No. Ah, it's at the end of the fog door. I believe that's the door we came in. Hmm, the black is wrong, huh? Antis eyes. Yeah, so Rom was a person who was, I guess, burned by the Great Ones in a giant spoder? I guess given the eyes to see? Hmm. Ah, yes, here we go. This door opened up for us. Nice. Moon waits ahead. Where of foe? Where foe? Hello. I believe he's the foe. No, him, baby. not actually like part of the boss fight exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe this is just a separate area. Because he crap. never shuts the fuck up, correct. And if you die, you have to, like, hear him never shut the fuck up again. You sure do. Gotta do each phase. Ooh. We have acquired the moon. They did say moon. Mm-hmm. All right, now for, you know, the, the boss fight that they're playing all the fancy nah. music for. I guess. Cause gave Rom eyes, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Rom did have quite a few eyes. Well, Mikolash, why don't you just stab all those eyeball spiders if you want eyes? Maybe they're just being sustainably farmed. Man, that is a very poisoned lash. Dirty damn fortune. Mm -hmm. Alright, part two. Yeah, yeah, you have to chase him with like those little side rooms where yep. they put, yeah. A wee puzzle for us, Jim. I ain't saying cause him, you jerk. He's also got some moves. Yeah, so I think it's been mentioned, but uh, Rom's name does translate basically directly to Rom the Stupid Spider in uh, <laughs> Japanese. My god! This puppet's got moves! 
including one of its moves being fall the fuck apart. Yeah, she got like, like, she got turned into a spider that doesn't really do much for your, your brain space. Mm -hmm. Brain replaced with eyes. I feel like vacuous is definitely uh, a more nuanced word. Iron door key, eh? Ooh, I love an iron door key. I would say so, yes. I have no idea if these puppets will stand back up. Like, if I want to be reading this door key or not. Well, hey, if we die, we'll know. Yep. Something to say cause it. This guy, shut up! Shut up, you jerk! He absolutely will not. No! Who is standing at my doorway telling me to log off? I will not log off. Even they were like, wow, you got him. I'll take it. All right, so this is the room that we got to ch chase him into. We just got to fight him first. And yeah, the puppets do come back. Well, they are just puppets. Yep. figure out how to drop in on him. On the plus side, he won't be able to get out. Yeah. What a jerk. Um, he can actually also do something else in that room, or the uh, fire room with the mirror. I don't know if we're gonna see it or not. Yeah, there are all these mirrors around. Is this the end part of the fight? Is it just two parts or is it three? I don't quite remember. Ah. Okay. I think this is the end of the fight. Like, we're gonna end up over here. Mm -hmm. ah. Three hours. I was trying to pick up the, yeah, uh, the yeah, items. I skipped through yeah. a bunch of text yeah. that he might not have actually said. It's, it's fine. But, uh... It is! Fuck y'all! Get him! Shut your face, my dude! We do not want to hear about Cosm anymore! Ah, uh, oh, oh! Yeah, he, oh, uh, right. is not fucking around anymore. You really want to, like... I think this is probably the end of the fight, so we'll see. That said... Oh. He will just fuck you up if you are not. You really have to just get super aggro on him. But we know how to do this. Arcane resistance. Probably can get a bit more, as was mentioned. Yeah, I'm curious when he gets mean. Yes, and you have to chase him every single time Ugh, to set it up. Of course. Yep. <laughs> Again, a fairly well known uh, fight. <laughs> For reasons. I'm guessing nobody likes this guy. Everyone loves this guy. I hate him. Oz, or some say Cosm. Yeah, arcane resistance is definitely a uh, word of the day. Got me some lovely choir trousers. Luckily, we can basically run straight back to the fight. I mean, it takes a little bit for this elevator ride to happen, but there isn't really anything awful uh, holding this up. Yeah, a lot of it is just about, like, being really aggressive with him because that attack he uses is basically always a threat to kill you. Yeah. All 
Alright, motherfucker. Leave if I now chase him over here, he'll run. Yep. Yeah, you do affect which way he goes. Yes. Well, I went for a swing. It didn't work out for me. Have we said goodbye to the current hammer? For now. We only have two weapon slots after all. All right, motherfucker. What he deserves. He sure does. And he won't shut the fuck up. It's absolutely what he deserves. The big thing about the first four of this fight is he doesn't exactly have very many Yeah, tricks. no, he just has the, the worms. You kind of just stick him in a corner. Oh, majestic! Shut up! A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But, alas, not too far. Yeah, definitely like the non-fire attacks are doing more damage. <laughs> mm-hmm, he probably has a decent amount of fire resistance. Um, yeah. than I was expecting. He's got poison. Rude! Oi! Really rude. Get out of here with that. Okay, we might also try out the Kirk Hammer if, uh, if we die and swap over, see if that damage helps us. We shall see. Yep, there we go. Ah, uh, so you can like jump between mirrors? Oh, what a jerk. You sure can. Yeah, the like, night attacks scale on your arcade, which we don't have an awful yes. lot of. Usually the extra fire damage is like still kind of worth it. It but... tends to do more damage most of the time. Yeah. But if he has see if my blood stains in here. It totally is. If he has an awful lot of um, arcane defense and fire yeah, defense, it yeah, would, uh... well, then it will do less damage. Because the normal swing is mostly strength and a little bit slow. Yep. All right, back to chasing me, Galash. This guy's accent is also sending me. It's extremely pretty. <laughs> it's very good. Oh, I am so English. <laughs> An attempt was made. Mm -hmm. I believe the way that we have to chase him here is like up this area and to make him jump off. Yeah. It just sounds like he's having so much fun. Is it, is it that one just jumping off, or is it different? Uh, this is a different one. Like, this is where we're gonna eventually go yeah. to fall into the pit, but he has to trap himself in the doorway. But I believe it's here that he runs off. 
I don't know what got him to do it last time. Yeah, what direction we uh, came from. Ah, here we go. This should, I think, do it. Yeah, he dropped down there. And yeah, I'm not totally sure how we did it last time, like how we set it up, but we take it. I mean, uh, there are some Scots in, in this, I think. Uh, as long as it's a fine uh, uh, Scottish accent, I don't mind. <laughs> a real Scottish person doing a real Scottish accent is, is a blessing in a video game. Indeed. Oh, Gonna have to introduce you to Ben Hart Jugo at some point. <laughs> Proper Scottish-like. He is. He's extremely, extremely Scottish. He's in two, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, pal. No, don't plant eyes on the brain. There's no more eyes go. Of course. Got kung fu. Now. Yeah. Don't get up in my grill anymore. And we must get up in his grill. We must come on and slam. That worked out better nice, than I was expecting nice it to. Nice to punch through that move. I think it is doing more damage. Yeah, um, I think so. My regular swings are doing 95, I believe. I do like the big step off energy he's got. He, he do have big step off energy. Okay, most of that at least went into the wall. There Got him! Go. Yeah! Hey, motherfucker! Now I'm waking up! Oh, forget everything! Dude, fuck you! Yeah, also about that waking up thing. Oh, uh, is that gonna be a problem for us? He's dead, so he's not really gonna wake up. Oh, <laughs> is that gonna, like, destroy this place, though? Good question. Ah. We're just gonna get a boost. I need to direct the cast in Souls Born game is uh Make them cackle at the end of every sentence. Think Victorian era assholes who have gone insane. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right, so now we've got a cage. So we, too... Now have a cage. School of Mencius controls the Unseen Village. This hexagonal iron cage suggests their strange ways. The cage is a device that restrains the will of the self, allowing one to see the profane world for what it is. It also serves as an antenna that facilitates contact with the Great Ones of the Dream. But to an observer, the Iron Cage appears to be precisely what delivered them to their harrowing nightmare. <laughs> I'm getting the look now. And now we've got the look. Antenna for the Great Ones, huh? Yeah, you know, just beam those thoughts directly right into that main Gurney Bingus brain. This is definitely a hat for sickos. <laughs> Extremely a sicko hat. Then you too can wear a cage on your head. We also got the Iron Door Key, one of the three great bridges that link the two cathedral cradles. 
Hmm. Cradles. This key opens the iron door that leads earlier. to the mid-level bridge. We've been hearing a baby a lot. We sure have. There are no thieves in the nightmare. Then, <laughs> why lock a door? Be warned, there must be a very, very good oh, reason. Oh, we are going to ignore that warning. <laughs> we are looking at that warning, and we are deciding we don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Warnings are for people other than Granny Vingus. Warnings are for chumps. Granny Vingus is no chump. It's true. She will run headlong into the nightmare. She will face God and walk backwards into hell. The thing is, Granny Vingus can read. She just doesn't care. <laughs> she chooses not to. <laughs> Alright, yep, there is a lantern over she there. She chooses to ignore all warnings at all times. Mm-hmm. If someone's warning you, it must mean there's good shit on the other side. Either good hey, shit you know, to kill, or good shit to, you know, to get. You thank them for the warning, and then you go on your way. Alright, I may pop back into the uh, DLC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have enough chunks for the uh Yeah boom 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 for here comes the boom. Here comes the boom. Ah, so yes, kin hunters and beast hunters are specifically against beasts and kin. Mm -hmm. So if you're in an area with just all of that. Mm-hmm. Those gems on for that uh, fight with the great one in the basement. Yeah, that'll probably be uh, worth doing. That is an attack up plus 18% right there. Ooh. So now we're starting to get the sexy ones. Yeah. Ah, boost rally potential. Let's, That's also interesting. Let's rally. Rally is when you get health back from uh, hitting things, like the, uh, the little blood we have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, so that's just flat out fantastic. We we are definitely starting to get some good ass gems, I gotta say. Yeah. Um, I mean the Kirk Hammer is still kind of tops with the plus two hundred sixty. Yeah. That it's got, but the Boom Hammer's just hit two hundred, and that's pretty good. Um, and the Legarius Wheel is two sixty two as well. Yeah. All right, grab a level or two, and then bet the rest of on blood vials. I must. What if? Very well. Let me. Yeah, <laughs> grab a level. A level. I love a level. Seems fine. Yep. A little bit more stamina. A little bit more hips. <laughs> At the plush. Good hunter, I sense thee. Farewell, good hunter. May you. F I ain't finding anything in the waking world. <laughs> Death and destruction. Wow, we do not have a lot of those in storage. Oh yeah, we we were. <laughs> I, I at one point spent like forty thousand just on blood vials yeah. today. Yeah. Uh, because we were at like forty stored before. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to do some more uh, blood vial grinding. Yep. Which really just, again, comes back to the fact that the system just, uh. It's kind of unfortunate the way that it is. Yeah, it kind of just. Just forces to you to do that sometimes. Particularly when you're learning an area. The better you get at yes. the game, the less that it's an issue. Yes. Alright, so the DLC went so well last time. Yeah, it did! Um, I have learned we can't actually fight Ludwig just yet, yeah. but we will be able to. The Ludwig sword is, is pretty good. I love it really, really highly. We, we've kind of like shied away from it a wee bit. We're leaning a bit more on the strength. Yeah. Um, than the combination of strength and skill that it does. Like there, there's a lot of really good stuff, but the fact that the uh, hammer is basically the same rude. Same sword, yeah. There we go. Give me 
a health back. Give them blood vials back too. Yeah. We're close to getting the weapon. Ooh. But the weapon is there a weapon you know of? Uh, I mean, I don't really know too much of the DLC at all, but I am aware of certain weapons that exist in it. I don't know if that one of them is the weapon. I think I might be able to do is actually fall off here. Ah, yeah, jump down there. In such a way. <laughs> Fell on dog. Fell on dog. Oh dear. Well, at least he broke my fall, I guess. Her, her pop. You took three damage from you falling on him. Yeah, weapon. Ugh. Oh, die, Bart. Die. Hey, Bart. Me. All right. <laughs> Hi. So this is a hunter with red eyes. Oh, good. We needed our hunters to be even worse to fight. He's got a boom hammer. He sure does. He really likes the fire. That was pretty good. That was good. Not that one though. <laughs> a little less so. Yeah. That one. These guys are fuckers. Yeah. So I've heard. We may swap to the Kirk Hammer for this guy. Go sword to sword on him. Definitely quite liking the uh, boom. the boom hammer. It's been nice because I've been like, you know, super focused on the Kirk hammer most of the game, and I'm glad we've been able to branch out a bit more. Uh, especially because a lot of the time when I'm using Kirk hammer, it's not really as a strength weapon. Yeah, it's like, a sword. It's, yeah. it's scaling off of strength, but it's playing like a sword. Dang, if I'd actually just jumped a little later there, I would have been fine. Because the thing I read about the Kirk Hammer is the sword doesn't do much damage. I know, everyone talks about how the sword fucking sucks, and we've basically played the game with the sword as our main weapon. The sword's actually pretty good. It was doing more damage than our boom hammer. Like, I know we've got two more levels than the boom hammer, but like... The levels do quite a lot for it, um, and it's also like our only source of really slashing damage. Yeah, slashing and also like fast. Like everything else we have is quite slow. Yes, as strength builds tend to be. Oh, well, at least one of those guys has our yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, speed's an absolute premium for for strength weapons. Like, this is really the fastest one apart from uh, the Lizard, which, again, is a sword. Alright, bro, calm down, bro. Just a prank. Yeah, he can just uh, swing on a dime, huh? He can lazy Susan and delay his attacks as well. Yep. He does not like that dude. Oh yeah, he is gunning for that dude. Dang. Bye. I have missed my opportunity. Well. Yeah, you know what? Fine. <laughs> this will create issues for we me. We don't need to go down. We can just go with it. <laughs> ah, Beast cutter. cutter. Is that another weapon? I believe that's that weapon that that guy is using right there. Yeah. I love creating trouble for myself. Oh, hello. Oh. I 
love creating trouble for myself. Ah, pup. Pup, get out, get out, pup. All right, our boom buddy over there is uh, just Pretty, chilling. Yeah, what like. if the tragic came with strength laughing? Hmm. Let's have a look at it. Well, that guy doesn't really care to do much yeah. for us. Trick weapon made by the old hunters. This thick iron cleaver slices through the toughest of beast tides, and when transformed, the blade splits into sections, allowing one to lash it in the fashion of a heavy whip. This crude weapon relies on brute force and is regrettably inelegant, suggesting that the hunts of the earliest hunters made for horrific affairs, painted in sanguine blacks and reds. It is a less civilized tool. But yes, you can see that there is a little a touch of arcane scaling, some uh, skill, but largely uh, strength, at least based on that D that's there. Yeah. yeah you can really see the Kirkhammer's A in scaling is just so, so big. Yeah. Hey, bub. He at least doesn't have a gun he can throw at us. No, yeah, just a torch. He's all about that far. I suppose I should have wow. seen this coming. Mm, he still got you. Walls are a chitch. That is true. Fall down so that he does not instantly murder me while I'm trying to heal here. And there we have it. Ah, oh, that didn't actually get me vermin. I wonder if I have to accept the covenant to get them. So vermin are like the things that what's his name wants. Ah. Okay, there we go. Just took a little bit to show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're the the stuff that Valter wants, Buckethead. Ah, Buckethead. Um, they're basically the covenant item for that. And the red-eyed oh, hunters okay. here actually do drop those, which is sort of like on top of how you normally get them. Okay. Um, I don't know if they'll show up here or elsewhere. I have no idea where covenant items come up. A centipede-like creature discovered on successful hunts by League hunters. Vermin, found within filth, are uh, only seen by League confederates and are the root of man's impurity. The League has assumed the task of finding and crushing all vermin. Perhaps there is some mercy in the madness. Those who wish to see the vermin can, and those who choose are provided with boundless purpose. It is arguable whether vermin exist. Well, we picked one up, so... Thanks for the free souls. Now you two can go so get can bashed. Just, yeah, go to the right, right? Yes. We're not fighting Lazy Susan over there. We can go back to the fun zone. <laughs> just, just some yelling in the distance. Especially break that one up. Okay, sure. All right. So now we're getting basically to the point where I was at previously. Ah, thank you for the pets. We did actually already fight one of these guys. Yeah, we did fight the boom man. That totally should have hurt him. Not sure we got the better of that. I'm 
Buddy, are you sure you want to get involved here? Yeah, it doesn't seem very wise, to be honest. Did you see what I just did? Yeah. Did a little bit of a murder. Mm-hmm. Go for the boom. Yep. Again, since we've used the Kirk hammer so much, I'm definitely apt to, uh... We, like, drop down into the pit with the tickly. I feel like we don't want to, and I'm just, like... Can Is it an option? Oh, hello. Does not look it. There are no holes in the fence. Hmm. I wonder if we get down there, like, somewhere else we'll take it down there. I, yeah, would have to imagine, I imagine so. so. So we're getting a decent number of blood vials from these dudes. I haven't thought, I, I, I think you're talking about something other than the boom hammer when you say loud weapon. <laughs> so no. It unless depends you, how loud we're talking. Yeah, unless you mean the boom hammer, in which case yes, but otherwise no. Yeah, we we got we got trapped, exploded here. We got a little exploded It was here, really yes. funny. It was very funny. That was extremely <laughs> funny and good. And uh, fantastic play on expectations there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here we go. This is where the boom hammer, like... I, I quite like the combos that include this loading it. This is where it. we got the boom hammer. Yes. Ah, is there a way to like, drop down from that? Uh, yes. We could definitely drop down. I just didn't do it originally. Right, yeah, I get the okay, feeling. Okay, that's into the tick That'll, that'll tick take hell. us into the tick but swamp. But there's some items. It is true. We're gonna die. I'm this certain I won't regret this. We got an old hunter top hat! Worth it! I'm certain I won't regret this. Worth it! Oh, they're all just spewing at us now. Gross. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Legitimately shocked that I'm not dead. Grab I him! <laughs> Swamp itself isn't poisoning me, which yeah, small yeah, mercy. yeah, absolutely. All right, blunt damage does seem to be doing some work. Okay, so there's an item to left. Even there's more. Oh, there's tick ladies all over. I want more items, but... <laughs> Fair. I'm gonna head this direction, because this is kind of yeah, back originally, yeah, yeah. and we may see if we find, mm -hmm, like... Another item. An item or a shortcut or something. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, that was a little unfortunate. Yeah, the ones, like, here, they're not doing as much damage as the ones in Kanehurst did when we went over to them. But there's an awful lot of them. Quite a few, and yes. she noticed us right before we As we were about her. to get the backstab in. And that, like, we, like, just trapped us in the corner. We, like, went and slammed into a corner because of that. Yep. But at least we'll be able to get back a little bit quicker, because we're not going to go over to that red-eyed dude again. Yep. Dang. My 
timing was just totally wrong there. Alrighty then. Yep. I mostly just jumped a little preemptively at him a bunch of times. Timing was off, because I was still used to fighting the uh, tick ladies. He was actually just rearing up for his next attack. But she then lazy Susan straight on top of me. Oh. Fair enough. This dude's pretty easy to stun lock. Alright, Katamari Dama see me. Fight an axe, dude. <laughs> I did see some stairs at the other side of that blood pit, so I do imagine there's a way into the blood pit past the house we were in. Mm -hmm. We don't need to jump out the window. I don't think. Now that we've lost the echoes there. Yeah. Which, to be fair, like, the Steel Sea area is not giving us as much souls as the Nightmare is, so it's like... No. Not like it feels like I'm missing out on that much. This, this doesn't have any caramel in it. That's interesting. There's just a chocolate-covered biscuit! <laughs> well, I'll, I'll show you when you're done fighting this dude. Boom hammer, the boom hammer. Chocolate-covered biscuit right there. <laughs> Sorry for your chocolate-covered biscuit. That's pretty funny. Why? <laughs> Denied. Wait, the caramel's the best part. <laughs> That's so mean, Twix. Ripped to your Twix. Ripped to my Twix. Hey, buddy. Hey, you did some damage to me. Good job. I definitely have to get used to the, uh, there's some wind up on the charge attack, but it does seem, or on like the, uh, trick attack, but it does seem to be really good. All right. Hey, buddy. Ah, it's probably like a switch that you step on. Yeah, well, I think you like hit it. There's nothing else around here, so. There are two exits, Man, one of which goes sad. to the shit like, swamp. I don't mind a chocolate covered biscuit, but like. It's not a Twix. I missed the caramel. 
I mean, it's kind of the point of getting a Twix. Right? Hmm, it's weirdly quiet around here. We're also basically getting right up to the area where the initial bonfire is. So I'm curious if there'll be something here. Beware strong foe, strong foe, therefore fear man beast. Hmm. Yeah, right. Yep. That's definitely a man beast right there, huh? Wow, that wasn't a fairy. I got stuck in a bad place. Yeah, I guess that part of the attack is not actually the, the parryable bit. Oh, he has a bullet field, doesn't he? Uh, probably. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I, I just tweeted a picture of, Ooh. of my shameful twig. Him, yelly boy. Also, yo, he just fucking powered through my shit. Goddamn boss! The terrible, shameful Twix. This guy's got moves. Yes, this is definitely a hunter weapon that we can use. It's like a werewolf ribbon claw, right? Looks like it. I'm getting him with the relight attack a decent amount, which feels nice. Headless werewolf. Him. He got dunked a little bit, and for that, I am thankful. We got the Firing Hunter Badge. Our key items. Our Firing Hammer Badge. Badge crafted by the Oto Workshop, precursor to the workshop of the heretical powder kegs. Powder kegs were driven by singular ideas and crafted strange weapons of great intricacy. They sure did. It is clear that the philosophy of the powder kegs was already established at this time. Well, well, see, Final Gamer James, uh, everyone screams at Bloodborne, so nobody notices. However, <laughs> if you go behind your local Tesco, there are very few people screaming. And it's usually just the employees. It's true. Sadly, nothing here. No lantern here for us. No Gilbert, either. No. Hmm. Alright, is it time we go into the blood? Certainly feels like it might be. No, he doesn't drop the weapon even though he's the only enemy that has it. Fair enough. Hilarious. Yeah. Gilbert's uh, window is completely unbroken, at least. Yeah, I mean, it's a different window. <laughs> the beast claws are in the chalice dungeons. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fair. Yeah, it looks like we have to go into... Uh, blood times. Yeah, here's blood the way swamp. in. Blood swamp. I knew there was another way in. Yep. Like. Oh boy. Fun times. Yeah, that's where we came down before. 
before. Yes, I'm still curious if there's anything there's over, there. over there. There's anything over there, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, I have problems. Uh, uh. I think I have three of three problems. Oh boy, back. oh boy. Didn't realize one of them had decided they wanted to make friends. That was worth a shot. What if I just chill? What if we all chill, bros? Yeah, that lady, I guess, saw ya. Definitely feels like that one's the yeah, way. Yeah, the wheel is definitely uh, very good. Just be careful about its uh, shoulder reach. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of funny how once they get out of their designated area, they like go back in, turn their back. <laughs> Loving this fully. numbers game involved in that was definitely the big issue. Because they got like the long range and the short range and the ball shooting poison at you. And the poison like stuns you slightly mm -hmm. so even though it's not doing damage it does mean the other one can just kind of waltz right up to you. Ooh, hello. I'm certain this won't get me killed. It is worth it for two chunks. <laughs> All right. Breakable wills, huh? Oh, ah, uh, hi. Outer Catwoman. Who has trapped me in a corner? to get hit by that. Honestly, you're less annoying right. when you're using your weapon there. All right. Woof. Okay. Well, he Gatling. did obtain he did a Gatling, Gatling gun. gun. Now that's some uh, powder keg shit. Highly customized, portable version of the stationary Gatling gun operated by the old hunter Jura and old Yarnum. 
It was the weapon of choice for the of the youngest of Jura's three companions. The Gatling gun boasts exceptional rapid firing functionality, but is considered a cumbersome weapon due to its ex excessive weight and insatiable consumption of quicksilver bullets. Yeah, the boom hammer's got like a nice combo to it. Mm -hmm, nice swing mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, it's I really, like, really like it's it. It's faster than the hammer, the Kirk hammer as oh, well. Oh, by a lot. And, like, the relight of the hammer means that you get, like, a powered-up swing, like, while you're using your longest-range swing as well. It's really nice. Oh, my. Nothing alive in here. Absolutely not. Certainly not hearing any noises or anything. Oix, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Oh, hello. I believe that was a hunter, however briefly. Mm -hmm. High blood tinge turns that Gatling gun into a ball shredder. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Oh, my. That's the oh, uh, oh, hello. same like model as our friend in the cathedral. Oh, it sure is. He's our friend, though. It's not. No. Very difficult to hit. Oh god, that's also like Bloodstar Beast's moveset. Yeah, that's also that. Dealing with the first easier problem. Yeah, that's just a Bloodstar Beast, huh? It does look a little better. Oh, finally managed to get a hit on her. Hmm. That's got some health. And I cannot stress this enough. Ha. I'm a little surprised I'm not dead. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what's doing more damage here. Hard to tell. Oh, Hitting so a bit more with hit. the Kirk hammer <laughs> <laughs> or with the uh, with the wheel. there and walked out. Ah, you got your nerve again. Probably because I didn't have fire out for a moment. Damp blood tinge gem. Ah, we're blood, blood, blood gem, gem master. master. I didn't know what that's about. Extremely, Extremely precious. precious. Okay. Oh, so is that going to be like a 15 plus or something on a weapon, on like a skill I'm not using? Yeah, it's a 15. Blood attack up. Yep. Yeah, that's blood tinge, so like mm. gun related stuff. Like I said, on one Can that you I'm put not it on using. Your gun? Uh, I probably could put it on my gun. It would definitely make it a little better. Probably end up doing it, slotting it in at least. All right. Well, I guess there's blood starved beasts down here. Okay. Let's uh, remember Cosmos, huh? Remember Cosmos is never a good sign. These flowers down here, I feel like they might be the same as the lumen flower stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So this is a weapon I am aware of and that someone else kind of mentions Mictolin arm. in an offhand kind of way. And I will definitely be giving this a try. 
Because this is the arm of a small amygdala great oh. one. Strictly speaking, the amygdalan arm is no trick weapon of any sort, but certain madmen wield them like clubs. It starts as a large, tough, blunt weapon formed of bone, but when extended, the hand quivers as if it were still alive. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Is this the weapon or not the weapon? I imagine this is one that a lot of people have uh, been looking forward to. We've got all the requirements for it. It does have a D in Arcane. I don't know exactly what is uh, in, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely give this a shot. It's, it's a club. That tricks into um, an arm. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that wiggles. Oh no. Yeah, we'll definitely give this a shot. This seems stupid. And it's not the weapon. Okay. Ah, all right. All right. I will probably head back to the dream with this stuff, yeah. especially because yeah. there's probably a bunch of mosquito ladies in my way. Yeah. Well, is there anything else to see in this cave? Someone can tell me if there is. Um, cause yeah, I'll take another quick look see. But I think this is probably the thing that is in this cave. Yeah, the arm still twitches. Yeah. Mm, gross. This cave's a dead end. I, I do like, well, not specifically a, uh, a trick weapon per se. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Mm -hmm. There's a shortcut not far from here. Ah, okay. Oh, is there? Like, is it in the cave or is it back in the blood swamp? I was thinking there should be a shortcut around at some point. I would love to get that if I could. In the blood river. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm mostly looking at that one blood vial that I have. Yeah, if it's not too far, then that's not a problem. Yep. Here's a bridge. I assume it's that okay, bridge. Okay, yeah. There's a couple of tick ladies, but... Yes, I'm kind of hoping I can get the jump on them in some way, shape, or form. There's three... Ooh. Uh... Okay. I'm not sure, like... Oh, there's steps here. Yo, what if I just fuck off? Bye! Ah, three blood ones. All right, there's a lot of lads here, but I think the wheel might be where I want to be. Who wishes to face me? All right, there we go. First success. Is also a success. Enjoy ticks! <laughs> <laughs> Wondrous lever. Ah, okay. So yeah, there's a little. Oh, hello. My god. We missed. This guy's got moves. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. This is going to be what I was hoping for. Maybe? The wheel has a trick mode. Ah, not... wondrous friend. Yes. So uh, I don't believe this guy is actually. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? Yeah, a little bit. Well, we're more alike than you think. Are you this marvelous, is Chester? A nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. Very little bit drunk with blood. Mm hmm. Aimless, wandering hunters, slavering like beasts. Slavering. This is what the four fools have to look forward to. So, don't be brash. Yeah, the wheel just oh. gets arcane which is not any good for us. Yes. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. Nightmares are fascinating. Nightmares are fascinating. I assume I should tell this guy that nightmares are fascinating. Seems like it would be the thing to do. I just don't want to... Mess it up, basically. I've heard that there are some kind of peculiar quests when it comes to a lot of the uh, NPCs in the DLC. Okay, uh, yeah, this is Simon. Simon the Pyman. Okay, yeah, and I was fascinating for Chris's quest. Oh, yes, I see. You 
sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. I mean, sure. As if the spirit of Bergenworth lives on within me. Such inquisitive hunters will relish the nightmare. But beware. You are right there. Mm -hmm. Secrets are secrets. I is this the shortcut or is this I believe this is the shortcut. I <sighs> see them uncovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Do love an unseemly secret or two. Beware. Secrets are secrets for a reason. And some do not wish to be discovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. All right, buddy. This... Yeah. Is the way back here. I think right. what I may do is uh, finish up the stream by taking another shot at Abritus. Sure, yeah, cool. Buy some more blood vials. Yes. How, how we go? What weapons are you going to take? Uh, Kirkhammer. That was definitely doing the most. And I don't think I have another, like, bladed weapon. Yeah, thrust and bolt get against her. Yeah. Do you want to put, like, any kin blood stuff in it, or...? That's potentially a good idea, yeah. Yeah, right now it's got a tempering blood gemstone three. Um, oh, that's just more, huh? Mm-hmm. More bigger. Don't know if any of these would be helpful. This one might actually be fairly good though. Um, yeah, she's not a beast. She is kin. Yeah, it's like. 15% off against Ken or... Yeah, so right now this is plus 12, 12 so yeah. anything better than that is kind of where I want to be. That should be pretty decent. Yeah, I barely upgraded the gun. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Plus 5. I guess the gun actually gets its level ups in a slightly different leg, like in a slightly different place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or at least in the uh, thingy. Alright, well, we do still have a bunch of bloodstone shards and a ton of twin bloodstone shards, which is quite nice. Mm. Well, definitely. Yeah, uh, make it a little arm! Yes, 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 yes. We want to smack things with an arm. We just want to get swole with an arm. Mm hmm. Can we do the blood, that means a blood say, rock. Or... <laughs> There's also the beast cutter here. We do not have enough shards for it. We can always buy those from the shop if we want. Mm -hmm. um, I might go with the arm more so though. Up to plus seven, yeah. Yep. Try out using the arm first. We'll we'll spend some stuff on the beast cutter as well, and just you know go Hulkamania run wild. But I think it's gonna be the Kirk hammer for. Uh, Fighting off, uh, yeah, Abritus. Just... There's only two blood rocks in the game. That generally is how, in, in most Souls games, their equivalent are Titanite slabs, and they are hella rare. But yeah, I guess you, like, try out a bunch and then mm -hmm. figure out Yeah, we don't make ones. the final choice on that until we're, like, certain that that's what Got we want, Got your favorite basically. weapons, yeah. Um, so we are only at <coughs> 31, uh... Insight now, so we might not be quite as bad off uh, when we get smacked. Oh, uh, yeah. We shall see. And yeah, Dark Souls 2 just has Titanite slabs out the ass. Because Dark Souls 2, it's just like that. Alright, so we're not too, too much stronger, but... Still in pretty decent shape. Might have the hat for style and the physical defense, and then have other stuff with my, uh... Yeah, physical defense and arcane is kinda... Yep. Apparently the arcane attack does just kinda kill you, though. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not, like, super worth killing all your physical defense mm -hmm. for arcane. Mm -hmm. That makes sense.
keep it like this. And now we're looking super fancy. Well, Rainy Vegas doesn't like Dark Souls too. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many lads wanting to give me hugs here. Frankly, won't stand for it. I mean, you've given Dark Souls 2 a fair shake. Um, I've given it many I, I fair shakes, say. I would say. And to be fair, I mean, Vegas often gives games much fair shakes than I do. I decide very quickly if I like a game or not, and mm -hmm. uh, if I don't, fuck it. And immediately tell it to fuck off. Yeah, I basically, yeah, I can't, I can't be arsed with a game I'm not enjoying, to be honest. Alright, getting us started quick, huh? She's having a go. Hopefully a little bit less TV lag as well, it's also helpful. Yes. Sekiro and Bloodborne in the same camp of like Souls like games. Ah, even though not Souls. Um, even though they're not in the Souls series. What's your um, favorite so Souls series? Probably one. How did that miss? Apart from Sekiro, because mm -hmm, it's not mm -hmm. really. This is like much closer to a Souls game than Sekiro. I mean, yes and no. Like, there, it's got bonfires. It's got like a Souls system, even if you do have the the money vacuum um, as the biggest thing in it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that like you know is just kind of from game style. Oops. I would probably say if we were to discount uh, Sekiro, but keep this one in, it might be that it probably would be this one. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, like from this playthrough, more than anything else, uh, because once again, my first playthrough of Bloodborne was like not nearly as fun, mostly because of the TV lag. <laughs> I think I was locked onto the wrong bit there. Cause yeah, she does have two lock on points. Dang. Ooh, she you get hit by that and you're just done. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. I've been enjoying Bloodborne quite a lot this time around. Trust me, when I get frustrated at a Souls game, it it shows. Can you change your runes up or? Yeah, probably a good idea. But Womble Combo there. A little bit. That one's a tough because you do want to get like up in there. It's one of your best chances to actually hit her. Um, but you're kind of dodging backwards for a lot of attacks and that attack super punishes you for dodging backwards. 
mean, I tend to play Souls games pretty dodgy. Like, when I originally played the first uh, Dark Souls, I did a great uh, Eagle Shield run, but since then, I, I do tend to just play very, very dodgy, and this game leans in quite hard uh, on the dodginess. Yeah, there we go. The Moon Echo I have is like an even bigger uh, mm. Blood Echoes one, which is quite good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will definitely uh, enjoy that. So yeah, definitely like the four extra Blood Vials. Yeah, we'll do some work. Do I have stamina or like health here? Well, that's a good like question. Health might rooms. actually be pretty good. We don't have the strongest clockwise metamorphosis, yeah. but 10% extra health is not, not pretty decent. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm she debating, hits like a truck. So. Yeah, if I want to go full on defense. Yeah, I think it's full on defense. Like I said, like like the guy was saying that arcane move, is, if it hits you, you're basically just fucked anyway. So. <laughs> Regardless, yeah. The older girl still has like a decent amount of arcane on it. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Oh yeah, the back half of Dark Souls 1 uh, is has got some really bad things. The front half of Dark Souls 2 is one of the best, like, experiences I've ever had on my first playthrough of a video game. Dark so, Souls like, 2? Uh, 1. You said 2, right? I thought you meant 1, but you the said The front half two. of Dark Souls 1 is one of the best experiences I've ever had in a video game uh, playing it. And, like, I have gone back and replayed it many, many times, and I still really like it. Like... I understand that they've made, like, better systems at this point. This is definitely a more enjoyable moment-to-moment -moment game to play, but nothing will ever dissuade me. <laughs> you heard it, Rick is loves Dark Souls 2. <laughs> yeah, the front hole of Dark Souls 2 is not fun, and neither is the back. Basically. I was gonna say half, but that game is, like, three and a yeah, half Yeah, the front games. half is bad, the back half is bad, the middle half is bad. That's my general feeling. Dark, Dark Souls is a game of uh, a billion halves. Dark Souls 2 is the longest game ever created. If you will say that about Okami, I'm wrong, but... Dark Souls 2 seems uh, infinite. I'm curious if we will need the frenzy. Yeah, I can get better. It's going up pretty slowly, though. Yep. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we got hit by that. Yeah, I really need to just take that on the face. It's just like, anathema. Also, wow, I was hitting the dodge there. Like, I can't not dodge that, is the problem. You and, see like, it, you I see take counter damage. Yeah, you see it coming, and you're just like, well, I can clearly dodge that. I see it coming, I must dodge. And it's, then... it's on reaction, you know? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Man, I am just getting flipped by the jelly today. Mm -hmm. Dangly bits that even though you dodge her main, like, head, just smack you when she does that move. You just get clipped by her. Yep. I'm actually doing decent damage to the main body. Yeah. Might be a good idea to attack that a bit more. Probably a bit less safe. Wow, I got a ton of damage in there while she put that shield up. Oh. Dang. Didn't even see Come that attack on. was charging up. Unfortunate. I mean, I don't, I legitimately don't know how to dodge the charge straight up. Like, um, I dodge it just fine, but 
I'm still in the body zone. <laughs> like. Yeah, still get smacked by that tentacle. Like, I legitimately don't understand what the trick to dodging it is. Like, I was little wicked and it's like, better off just taking it on the chin. Yep. <laughs> Mickey is literally like, it's, even if you see it coming, it's so difficult to dodge that you just take it on the chin. Uh, I really hate, like, times when you have to drop lock on. It's so unnatural to me. Yeah. Like, it, is got, it has, like, a way larger hitbox than it should because she has all those dang limits that have been like I'm not dead, but I'll take it. That was a mistake. Yeah. Ugh, God. It's so hard, too, because there's, like, times when I know I can attack, but it just... Like, I, I end up going for those, and that gets me killed. Yeah. Oh, I know I dodged it the first time. Yeah. Like, yep. that's what I'm going to try to do, because I can't not dodge it. Yeah. Um, I'm still gonna get hit by it a whole bunch. And the fact that I dodged it there that one time, if I can do it more than once, it'll be worth a bit more. Yeah. Um, until I prove that I can actually do that, it's not really worth much to me. Yep. Luckily, I should be able to pretty easily farm bolt paper, so even if I don't get it, like, this time... Oh, you find a good place for it? We'll be able to. I mean, part of it's, like, I can grab it with insight. Part of it is just, like, mm. sheer number of souls yeah. that I'm picking up. Wow. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. It's fine. Yeah, sometimes the camera also just fucks me. Oh yeah, the camera just gets in her inside her and then just doesn't fucking yeah, It's mostly because I'm locked onto the head rather than the main yeah. body. Yeah. Like it's very confused when you get like under her head. Dang. I was specifically looking to dodge that. I have fucked up, and I'm gonna die for it. Wow, that went wow. a lot slower than I thought it would. I 
believe I hit you. Please, no grabby. Surprised about that. Less surprised about that. that I threw my last uh, bolt paper into that. Woo! And that yeah! is a Breedus, daughter of the cosmos. We got her! Victory we pets! Many, many victory pets. Victory pets! The Great Ease Chalice. Yeah, the bolt this papers is... were like super, oh God, yes. super worth So, so it. much. This is all four types of chalice. Uh, Thumero, Hintertomb, Loren, and Great Ease. A chalice that breaks a labyrinth seal. Great chalices unlock re deeper reaches of the labyrinth. The Great Ease chalice became the cornerstone of the choir, the elite delegation of the healing church. It was also the first great chalice brought back to the surface since the time of Bergenworth and allowed the choir to have an audience with Ebritas. So basically, the uh, choir, their dirty secret was that they actually found a, uh... An elder god and slurped its blood. Basically, and then kind of just started working with the elder god. I guess elder goddess. I could believe there's a blind spot there. Yeah, 872 echoes back. So we're down here at the Altar of Despair, and this is what Abritus was looking at prior to this. Mm -hmm. Is that dead? That appears to be a dead ROM right there. There is a dead ROM right there. We yeah. can, uh, you know that queenly flesh we've been holding oh, on to? Oh, is this how we revive her? Is Alfred gonna be really mad at us? Time flows in reverse for this scrap of flesh. Alfred is gonna be really mad at us. So, yeah, it turns out the whole, like, immortality thing. Immortal means immortal. And Alfred may have been a little bit preemptive. Sure? Yes, it, it may have turned out that his master decided to lock her into a cage of illusions forever for a reason. Uh. He could have beaten her to death, but it really wouldn't have been worth much. So he decided instead to martyr himself to kind of seal her away. Oh, we ruined that. We're very good at this. We blew it up, yeah. We are terrible. Well. We were summoned. He was in the way. It's true. Yep, not Baron quite enough. Hunter. The priestess may have been trying to resurrect Rom. Oh dear. Well, frankly, I still. She was working with the awful church. Mm-hmm. Fuck her. Mm -hmm. Rom did nothing wrong there. <laughs> Rom did nothing Rom wrong. Rom did nothing wrong. I fully admit. We should not have murdered Rom. That was bad of us. And yeah, she's she's back. By the way, she won't do anything. She'll like notice that you're there, but won't do anything unless you specifically kneel to her. <laughs> Closest of kin. Bearer of our blood. Did Alfred just leave then? Yeah, yeah his job no reason done. to hang around, I he suppose. Left. Can we ever see him elsewhere ever again? I think he might be back where he started. We'll not mention to him that she's back. No. We're gonna keep that to ourselves. Indeed. I may pop into the Forbidden Woods real quick and at least grab the uh, Covenant from Volter. Sure. Ah, you can talk to her without kneeling, but she calls you rude. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Uh, 
I think that'll probably do us for today. We mm -hmm. managed to take out Abritus. Mm -hmm. we, we'll, did, we did a good job. We will probably venture further into the uh, DLC. Um, maybe see about using that amygdalan arm a little bit. Yeah. See what that's like. Um, Smack an arm around. Mm -hmm. whoop, whoop, whoop. See if I like it as a weapon. Yeah. Or if it's just way too creepy. <laughs> I mean, it's very creepy, but that doesn't mean we won't like it as a weapon, you know? Hey, buddy, I think we've come around. Well, then. I've seen enough out there. Yeah. Fancy yeah, right yeah, I do a little bit. I do a wee bit, oh, yes. actually. As a hunter, well should. Come at the start. Our own Carol rune, symbol of the League. Impurity. The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt sure are. In cooperation with your fellows, your League Confederates. <laughs> that good. All right, thanks, Lord Buckethead. Mm-hmm. Back to the dream, and let us never speak of this again. Yes, we will likely make it to the first DLC boss pretty soon. I'm pretty sure it's just kind of a little further down the uh, the zone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could be wrong though, because it's not has, like I've ever seen it. To take ladies. Indeed, we at least have a shortcut now, which means that I won't have to deal with all of the annoying hunters who get in the way. Yeah, um, we'll just yeah. have to deal with annoying tick ladies. Yeah, should be great. Ooh. All right, well, we will be back with this on Tuesday. We sure will. Um, we will... I will be back yes. tomorrow with more Skies of Arcadia. Um, Indeed. I did sell all my discoveries. We are above Valua. We're going to see if we can get that yellow moon crystal. Mm-hmm. And the fact that um, uh, Drachma is thinking it's, about that whale. Like, he's he's thinking about that whale. It's not going to be a problem, though. It's, it's going to be fine. It's going to mm -hmm. be fine. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.